welcome to the Little Art Bus's Buddha and Lotus Painting Tutorial. Here's what you'll need. Your pre-sketched canvas, your guide picture, three paint brushes, six paint colors, a paper plate, a napkin, and two cups of water. Now there are gonna be parts of this tutorial that go a little fast. Now when you hear this sound, feel free to pause the video so you can catch up. All right, let's get started. To begin, I'm gonna use my large paintbrush, dip it in a little bit of water and get some white paint. Now I'm gonna paint a thin layer of white paint all over my canvas. This is called priming the canvas. When we prime our canvas, it helps our other colors go on smoother and appear more vibrant. Remember to keep your white paint thin and smooth. You can add a little bit of water if it starts to get a little thick. You still want to be able to see your lines through the paint. While we're doing this, let me tell you why we have two cups of water. One cup is for washing our brushes to get all of that paint out of, get them clean. The other one, we're gonna keep clean and we're just gonna dip our paintbrush in there to thin out our paint. Did you hear that? I'm gonna take a break and let you guys catch up. Feel free to pause the video right now. Now that my white paint has had a little time to dry, I'm gonna start on the Buddha. I wanna create a teal color. So to do that, I'm gonna take some of my blue paint I'm gonna add just a little bit of yellow and some white, it's quite a bit of white. I'm gonna mix it all together. So using my medium paintbrush, I'm just gonna gently create this arc shape where the Buddha's brow bone would be. Now, just so I can keep track of where the lash line is, I'm using the end of my skinny brush to just kind of lightly just go through the paint, sketch that out. To add some highlights, I'm gonna use my medium brush, not even gonna clean it off, and just grab some white paint and highlight this brow bone. Now with my medium brush, I'm gonna grab some white paint and a tiny bit of teal and start filling in the bridge of the nose up to the forehead. With white paint still on my medium brush, I'm gonna keep adding some highlights to this brow bone. I'm gonna leave a little bit up at the top of the darker teal and just add in a little bit of white. This is gonna create some depth and dimension. Now I'm gonna add just the tiniest bit of watered down true blue paint to create some shadow. Again, just adding more depth to the Buddha's eyes and around his eyes.
Next, I'm going to work on the leaves, so I need to make some green. I'm going to start by mixing quite a bit of yellow with a tiny bit of blue on my plate. I want a nice spring green. Now with my green paint, I'm going to start by outlining these large leaves down here at the bottom. I always like to outline first, and then go back in and fill. And since I already have this green paint made, I'm also going to paint these stems and leaves up closer to the Buddha's face. Time to start adding some depth and dimension to these leaves. So I'm going to mix up some more green. This time I'm going to make it just a little bit darker than the first green that I made. So I'm going to add a little extra blue paint to this. Now while I've got this good amount of green here, I'm going to go ahead and set some aside and I'm going to mix in some more blue so I have two shades of green working at the same time. This medium shade and then this darker one. Using the darker green, I'm going to fill in this little leaf that's in the background here. I'm just going to fill in the whole thing using that darker shade of green. Because that leaf goes over the edge, I'm gonna continue using the dark green to paint along the sides so that when we hang our painting up on the wall, we don't just have like a white border. I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side using the dark green to paint the leaf in the background. Now I'm gonna paint a little shadow on this leaf in the top right hand corner. And same thing over here. Now I'm going to use that dark green to start drawing in the leaves' veins. 
You want these to be a little bit darker than the leaf itself. So I'm using my dark green. Actually, I'm going to add a little extra blue paint. I want these to stand out. Next, I'm going to start painting my lotus. Now you can paint your lotus whatever color you'd like, but I'm going to primarily paint it this magenta color. So using my medium brush, I'm going to get a little bit of magenta paint just on one side of my brush, and I'm going to pick up white on the other side. I'm going to brush it back and forth so that half my brush is magenta and the other half is white. And just in one stroke, I'm going to paint this blended magenta and white color onto my lotus leaves. Now you don't have to do this technique. You can paint it however you'd like, but just remember that the leaves on the, or the petals on the bottom are gonna be darker and they're gonna get lighter as you go to the top. So just keep that in mind.
Now that my lotus is mostly done, I'm gonna start filling in some of this background on either side of the lotus. So I've kind of picked up a bunch of different colors, some magenta, some white, and some blue. And I'm just gonna start brushing it in over here on the right hand side. By using my medium brush, I'm going to grab some black paint and I'm going to fill in this entire bottom part of the painting, which is going to be the night sky. Since I still have some black paint on my brush, I'm going to add a little shadow to these leaves down here on the bottom. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to move up to the top because we've got some night sky on either side of the Buddha's head. I want my lotus to look a little bit more graphic, so I'm going to use my medium brush with some black paint to outline each of the lotus's petals. As I finish up outlining my lotus's petals, I'm going to gently brush in a little bit of black paint to create some shadows. My small brush, I'm going to grab some of my teal paint and I'm going to blend it in to the black up at the top around the Buddha's head. To blend it really well, I'm going to use one of my favorite art tools, my finger. You just smudge the paint around with your finger, you get a nice soft blending effect. Now with my medium brush, I'm going to start working on these little flowers on the sides. 
I'm going to use some teal, a little bit of pink, and a little bit of magenta. Next, I'm going to work on these little succulent leaves up near Buddha's face. So in order to make a sort of dusty teal color, I'm going to take some of the color that I mixed up for Buddha's face, add in a tiny bit of magenta and a tiny bit of black. I'm just going to outline these leaves with my small brush, adding a little bit of magenta, just like with regular succulents, you have that sort of line of purple. Now with a little bit of yellow, I'm going to fill in these tiny flowers over here on each side. I'm also going to take a little bit of magenta paint and just fill in the bottom sides of these yellow flowers.
Now I'm going in with some green paint and just filling in these white spaces of these top flowers. Now using my small brush, I'm going to go around the outside edges of my painting and just touch up where there's any white spots. I don't want to be able to see the canvas when I have my painting up on the wall. Now it's time for those fun final details. I'm going to take my small brush and dip it in my white paint and just dot on some very small stars up near Buddha's head and some along the bridge of his nose and take a little bit of white paint and just highlight his eyelids. Now down here at the bottom, I need to draw a galaxy, which isn't the easiest thing. So I'm going to start with a center point and then draw some pinwheels out to the side. Then going back in with my favorite art tool, I'm going to do a little finger painting and just gently blend in different colors of paint. I'm going to start with white and then go in maybe with some blue, some yellow and some pink. Now with your small brush, add in a few dots for stars all around your galaxy. Now to darken this just a bit, I'm going to add in a little bit of black paint, again just using the tip of my finger. Now all I have to do is go in with my small brush and clean up and do some of these final details.
Last but not least, I'm going to put my initials down here in the bottom, clean my brushes, and I'm all done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Buddha and Lotus painting tutorial. For more information about The Little Art Bus, please visit our website at www.thelittleartbus.com.